Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung out a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers and Yankees. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Calvin. Time for baseball on MLB Network from Citizens Bank Park in the city of brotherly love. It's the penultimate game of the year between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Live baseball here on MLB Network and it comes your way next. Aaron Nola is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on MH? Well, Matt, the last three outings, he's allowed a lot of base runners, and all you got to do is look at his whip. It's over 1-4. When you have that, you're going to have a tough outing. He's got to get that number down and keep the traffic off the bases. Digging in, Juan Ligares. He's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Out into right center. Well hit. Lagares will go to second base. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then to cap it off, he drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at bats we'll see all game long. Digging in the switch hitter as Drubal Cabrera. He's looking to run his hitting streak to an even 10 games. No one out with a runner at second. And there's ball two now. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matt, you know what I find interesting about this team and watching this game today? They are really playing strong baseball. They're playing good down the stretch. And that, to me, is all about that front office and the manager. They haven't quit. They've got plans in the future. And this looks like a club you look at and you say, look out for them next year. May not get there this year. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Pereira racing back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. Ligaris rounds the corner and is headed home and the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early one nothing advantage. Well there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple and they're in good shape to possibly make it two nothing with another base hit here. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. And he misses two and one. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. Called strike on the sinker, two and two now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Batting fourth. The left fielder number 50. Stepping up now, Yoana Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Nobody out, runner on first. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. 
Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. you got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Chopped weakly to the left. Scooped up. There's one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but, man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. Striding in, Wilmer Flores. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. This inning looked like it was going to really get out of hand. That double play ball really came in handy. He'd already given up two runs. Now you can't let anything else get started. This is a big hitter to get out. Joseph into foul territory. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. Once again, a 3-2. Hit the other way out toward right field. And the catch is made out there by Saunders, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, one Philly error, and no one left on base. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Mets out in front, two to nothing. Rafael Montero. The right-handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the starter. What do we need to know here, HR? Matt, he's got a sub-2 ERA. Sub-2. We're talking about changing the height of the mound he's been so dominating. I mean, this is historical stuff, so I don't look for things to change. He's in such a great rhythm and a great groove right now. We'll see if we get another performance out of him like they've seen most of the year. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. The stolen base total leads the ball club. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bunt attempt. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. Standing in, Michael Franco. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Now they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. Well, Matt, and another thing, I mean, this is a really good team. We know that, right? I mean, they've already clinched the division. The question will be, how do you rest guys down the stretch to get ready for the playoffs? And that, to me, is more challenging, maybe, than the rest of the season on the calendar. Stepping in, Odubel Herrera, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Throw into second, and now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That was some great situational Batting hitting forward. there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year, currently second in the NL in RBIs. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. bat explodes as this has popped up and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning 
Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Ready with the 3 0 pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick ranging back. A leap, but he can't get it. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball seven. in on him? No Number way. Five. Drives it to deep left David center field Wright. gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. So we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. Get that batter out. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Drilled to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often this club. So striding forward now, T.J. Rivera. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. On the ground, up the middle. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Here's the one and one pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Mets are out on top. Three to nothing. Here's Michael Saunders now. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. The two and one on its way. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Howie Kendrick, and he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. One out, nobody on. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. Batting seven, the shortstop. Andres Blanco. Digging in, Andres Blanco. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Flores is there. Pro to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. The Mets lead it three to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Juan Ligares. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here it comes on one and one. And a changeup right down the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. This one's down to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The shortstop, number 13, as Drupal Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. It was an RBI triple for him in his first at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Herrera on the run. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The right fielder number three. Digging in to try it again. Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Hard hit ball to second. Hernandez scoops it up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Now at the plate, Cameron Rupp. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And another foul ball. Another 0-2 home. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. Now here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So with one away, we'll take a look at the standings here, and it'll show you that these guys have already wrapped up the division race as they've set their sights now on the postseason. Now batting, Aaron Nola. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Fouled back. Here's the one and two delivery. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. Ah, oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera ranging into the outfield makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Phillies down in order. They trail in this one three nothing. Here's the left fielder Yoenis Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his motion here comes the three and one. Yeah. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. 38th home run of the season for him. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. In now, Wilmer Flores. 
as he lifts it in the air to right field. Saunders is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Mets. Striding Catherine. in once again, Travis, Travis Darno. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's the one and one pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really froze it. Good breaking ball. Line drive to center field. Herrera is there now, and he has it two gone. The third baseman, number five. Digging in for his David second Wright. at bat. David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Four runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 New York. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will get in there safely with a double to start the home fourth. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away the that batter. that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Oh, yeah, Google. Matt. Some people like to throw about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Into the box, Odubel Herrera. Swing and a line drive, but this is foul near the seats. The one and two pitch to two balls and two strikes now a runner at second nobody out and this is drifting foul back into the stands he's set here's the two two now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning first baseman number 19 ready for another chance Tommy Joseph He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Line toward right center. And that'll get down out there. Franco is on his way home. Play at the plate and he's out. A great throw. Hey, he's trying his hardest right to help his guys five. get back in the game, but this My time goal. he had no shot. Under. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Ground ball right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's a nice swing. He hit that ball hard. You got the first baseman diving. Great effort by the first baseman, by the way. Pitchers love it when these guys get dirty. But that ball was hit too hard to catch. Standing in now, Howie Kendrick. Swinging a soft liner. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Joseph rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, Matt has scored a lot of runs yesterday, and they're just now That's scoring today. Four. But it's always who you're facing that particular day. Good pitching is the momentum stop, and that's what we've seen so far today. Stepping in now, Andres Blanco. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We played four full. The Mets lead this one four to one. Standing in, TJ Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first the down. Pitcher, Good pitcher. contact to start out the inning. Rafael Thought he might be on base with Harris. some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box now. 
Rafael Montero in for strike two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box, Juan Ligares. He swings and grounds it to short. Blanco takes it in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three as they hold on to a four to one lead. Settling in now, Cameron Ruff comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the pitch. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. The three two one more time and he takes strike three cold on the fastball one gone. Boy he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick for three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Chris Coughlin will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number six. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Again he sends it out of play. Another one two delivery. Another one sent foul. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here's another one two. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. He'll try again one two look out that one almost got away from him two and two now. Well what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this. I guess you could back him off the plate by throwing one inside line drive to left and this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track and there are two away now. Second baseman ready once again Cesar Hernandez he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here it comes on one and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and that is off the wall in right field. He's around first heading for two and he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Third baseman digging in and looking for more Mike Michael Franco one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Working for the punch out and the offering swing and a liner. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Philly strand one and this is still a 4 one ball game. Your attention please. Now Call to the bullpen the here is the hard throwing Number right hander Joaquin Benoit Joaquin gets the assignment. Benoit. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera one for two with a triple so far in this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Herrera's there. He's got it one away. The right fielder number 30. Ready for Michael another chance. Conforto. Michael Conforto. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. 
as a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a play by. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Joanna Cespedes will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the port. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The Mets are out on top, four to one. Digging in to try it again, Odubel Herrera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. One and one, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, I know he'd like to see that pitch again. Just out in front of it. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. But he saw it pretty good. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. That's a good pitch right there, right on the corner with the fastball. Good job to foul the way with two strikes, though. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Tommy Joseph. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The next 3 2. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Yeah, and if you can make it all the way to the sixth inning before you give up a walk, you're doing something right. He's been very efficient so far, so we'll see if he can get back on track here. Here's Michael Saunders now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. That's Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. One run, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto racing back. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Well, he clearly did not miss that one. He got everything behind it, drove it out of the ballpark. I think he was just looking for that pitch and didn't miss it. In now, Howie Kendrick. Seared down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. He'll get it into second. And he is in there. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So as he departs he can't lose this ball game but he is responsible for the runner at second meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Hansel Robles the 5 11 right handed reliever enters to take over on the mound now.
Into the box now. Andres Blanco. And he puts it on the ground to second. Flores showing off his range. Throw gets him. Two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Cameron Rupp. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Number 18 for him on the campaign. As they will take the lead here, it's now a 5 4 ball game. This guy continues to impress with his bat. He's playing the most demanding position in the game, the position that takes the most out of you mentally and physically, and he's putting up these kind of offensive numbers. Catchers like that are like unicorns. You're a super please. rare. Brian Holiday will get the call here as he'll hit for Number the pitcher. 59. Ryan Holiday. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. So a solo shot down the line in left. Third home run for him on the year. And it's now six to four. When a manager talks about hitting being contagious, that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off, and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, you've got three home runs in an inning, and your entire offense is off and running. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Your attention, Hector Neris is now on the pitch from the, the bullpen Phillies. now to start inning number, number seven. Hector Neris. Ready once again, Wilmer Flores. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. 0-2, oh here it is. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Hit on the ground to third. And there's his first base hit in this one. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, seventh inning, you're thinking maybe one more at bat if his team rallies. So this was a big hit to keep that streak alive. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. One for two with a double on his line thus far. I uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. 
just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. Now a hard liner toward short, but unfortunately right after shortstop for the second out. Dyer Inohosa will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 94, Dyer Inohosa. Matt Reynolds will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera's there. And the inning is over. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Phillies lead it six to five. Jerry Blevins gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jerry Blevins. Riding in once again, Michael Franco. His prior history in this matchup, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Hard hit ball to second. A quick out number one. Now batting. Digging in once again, Odubel Herrera. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one, here it is. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another multi hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. Standing in now, Tommy Joseph. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Michael Saunders. His career numbers in this matchup, one for five. He also has one home run. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Here's Howie Kendrick. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game. The pitch. Oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. Here comes the payoff pitch. Line drive to center field. Ligaris is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Phillies leave a couple. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Pat Nisha will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Stepping in, one Ligaris. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Down by run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, that puts the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first base. If you can get that knock or get that guy in from first base, you know you've got a chance with that bullpen to hold it up. So striding in, Michael Conforto as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Coming to the plate now, Joanna Cespedes. And he'll be tasked with bringing home the potential tying and go-ahead runs, both of which are standing in scoring position. And there's nope. ball four ball now, four. so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Digging in and looking for more, Wilmer Flores. He singled his last time up. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Oh, that was a pitch he wanted right there. That, that's a situation you can't go to two balls. Because if you go to three, you know you're going to throw him the ball right down the middle. Oh, no. This pitch right here, it, everything hinges on this pitch. Base is loaded. And... So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Now Ready for another in. shot now, Patrick. Travis Darno. He was Darnot. sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Runners at second and third with two gone. And ball four here on the intentional walk, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Digging in, David Wright. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Looking to minimize the damage here. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. But the tying run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And we are all even at six apiece. Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco. His prior history versus this arm, he's one for two. The two and one on its way. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. He's set. Here's the two two. Now a ball hits sharply toward third, but this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. A very tightly contested ball game here in Philly, as you can see by the line score, all even as we play the eighth. So digging in now, Cameron Ruff. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Set and the two-and-one pitch. This ball's grounded foul. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ligar is on the run, but the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. Freddie Galvis will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Freddie Galvis. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Grounded back up the middle. Cabrera's up with it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Score remains tied, six apiece. Back in the city of brotherly love for the ninth inning of this one on MLB Network. Sean Burnett will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Ready with the 1 and 2. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Hit sharply toward the right side. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So the leadoff hitter's aboard. Pitcher due up looks to be a textbook sacrifice situation. The pitcher number 39, Jeff Gavin Cicchini. Come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Gavin Chiquini. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Hey, sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Now the one and two pitch. This is in the air out to right field. Saunders is under it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. The shortstop number 13. So coming to the plate as Dribble Cabrera as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. Now the three and two pitch. That's down low. It's ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything right close. So I think this is the way to go here. Michael. Get the bat Michael. out of his hands any way that you can. The one and one pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. This game remains tied at six. A.J. Ramos please. comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into Number extra innings. Four. A.J. Ramos. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. and one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Two things pitchers really love. Called strike threes. 
and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it Third gets. Baseman, so he got him swinging. Mike Cesar Carroll. Hernandez Hunko. is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. Into the box now, Michael Franco head to head against A.J. Ramos. 0 for 7. Here's the 2 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. A changeup over the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. And that swung on and fouled straight back. The short hit hard. Cabrera's there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Weird still tied six and six. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the one and one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Set to deliver on two and one. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit out towards second. Hernandez is there. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. The batter, number four, second base. Into the box now. Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. He's working on a one for three thus far. One out, nobody on. Sinker and that's ruled strike two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And this is fouled at the plate. Skied into very shallow right. And Saunders will handle this one for route number two. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. The 1 and 2 pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. So coming to the plate, David Wright. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Kendrick is there. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Met strand one. Score remains tied six apiece. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. Head to head against A.J. Ramos. One for five. Two one. Here it is. This is hit softly to third. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first down. Number five. Michael. Now in the box, Under. Michael Saunders. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Here's the one and two delivery. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. 
popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. Faces are empty, one man out. Ball three. Three and two now. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Well, they got a little something started now. One out, little one out rally. Got a chance to win the game. You got the winning runner on base now. Now time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pad. Into the box, Howie Kendrick. And he puts it on the ground to second. Flores has it. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Well, that's one of those unusual plays right there. Great hustle by the runner going to second base. He picked up the team, made a base hit. He couldn't get the throw to second base in time. Therefore, he gets a hit. Digging in, Andres Blanco. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. And this is shot foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Now the one and two pitch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's now not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that cave, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. Striding into the box, Cameron Ruff. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are all even at six apiece. Roman Quinn play. will stick around as he'll take right over field. in right field. Number 24, Roman Quinn. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jen Mark Gomez takes the mound to start Ryan the 11th Hennigan. inning. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. Last time through was a base hit. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Quinn. One down. Now batting, the pitcher, A.J. Rama. Brandon Nimmo will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun Brandon in the inning. Nimmo. Strike two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. On the ground to third. Franco has it. Pro gets him. Two down. The center field the number 12. Ready for Juan another shot Ligaris. now. Juan Ligaris. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two-seam fastball. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. He's ready with the two-two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right, Quinn moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. In order, go the Mets. This game remains tied at six. Your Josh Edgen takes over now, now to start the home eleventh, and he's Number looking to get this one to the visiting Josh twelve. Edgen. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Hennigan, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. 
hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Foul back. Now another 1-2. And this is fouled back and out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Third baseman number Digging seven. in once again, Mike Michael Cal. Franco. Franco. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ligares is under it. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice so about trying to move up. Center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The one and one pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. Wright's got it. On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. We're still tied six and six. Ready once again as Drupal Cabrera. He comes in with a couple of hits, including a triple in four at bats. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the, the right game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do Michael is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He comes in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And that misses two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And a split finger pitch catches the zone two and two now. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And a dive, but he's back in. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. He's going, sure buddy. enough, there goes Reyes. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He's, going, he's, he's going, on the he's move going. again from first. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. Digging in now, Joanna Cespedes. He was a ground out victim last time up. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a pickoff play at second and a dive, but he's back. Now the 2 1. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Fly ball into straightaway left. Kendrick is there. Two down. The batter number four. Riding in once baseman. again, Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. Flores. Career numbers against Jenmar Gomez. He's only one for ten. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Let's go, 
A throw behind the runner at second. Now the one and two pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Ready with another two strike offering. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready with another two strike offering. Hit to third. There is Franco. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets leave one. Score remains tied six apiece. Jose Reyes will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tommy Joseph. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Now batting. Right fielder. Now at the plate, Roman, Roman Quinn. Quinn. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Here's Howie Kendrick. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Right field. Conforto is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Time to put the coffee pot on. 13th inning coming up, and we are all even at six apiece. Michael Marriott takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. 31, Michael Marriott. Coming to the plate now, Travis Darno. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Set to deal on two and two. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Quinn is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. The third baseman at the plate, David Wright. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Wright will take the turn and head for second. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. I like it. Hard line drive on the fastball, the hit batter. off the fastball, First and good things player. happen. TJ Rivera. In now, TJ Rivera. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. And he'll be back in standing up. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Rivera will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Rivera. 
This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. The center fielder number striding into the box. Juan Ligares. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Crowd gets up for the three-two, and here's a ball hit in the air. And no one can get there as it falls. The relay, and they get the force for the second out. And he's safe. Shortstop number seven. Jose Here's the shortstop Reyes. now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Two men are on with two men out. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And a very important insurance run comes across to score from second. It's now an 8-6 to six game. Well, that base hit right there gives them two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Standing in now, Michael Conforto, as it's on the ground toward the hole. He's got it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. Mets out. Jerry Familia. Enters now from the pen the now as they've Mets. saved their closer Number until this deep into extra innings. Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco, trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here. He's 0 for 5, all told. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for a hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, that's a nice single. At least he can go home now. Being oh, one for six is a lot better Enter. than 0 for six. Michael Marion. Fun attempt is popped into foul ground. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice the about trying to move 34. up. Ryan Digging in for his Hennigan. second at bat, Ryan Hennigan. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 1 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Conforto. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now in now, second Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. It Cesar. was a walk Hernandez. in his last trip. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swinging a soft liner, and he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, that's a sweet win, especially on the road. They took the lead in the top of the 13th and held on to it in the bottom to secure this win. 8-6 to six, the final score tonight. The New York Mets win for the 96th time, most in the division. Josh Edgen earns his third win of the year in relief. Michael Marriott takes the loss, only his first of the year. Jerry Familia earns the save out of the bullpen, his 39th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious New York Mets, eight runs on 12 hits, no errors. They left. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson! My goodness! Amazing.
Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. 